Okay, welcome back everybody. This is David of The David Show. We're playing Sakura Spirit, the visual novel. Um, last episode, some crazy shit went down. So, uh, yeah, Takahiro rescued What's-Her-Face from the river. He was about to give her CPR, and then uh, Maeko-chan, uh, like, hit him unconscious. He woke up in a bed next to a naked Machiko-san. Oh my god, and he was naked too. And him and Maeko-chan were talking about how blah blah blah. Yo, who cares? Okay, here we go. Ah, I see you're finally awake, Machiko-san. With, with you two talking... With you two making such a fuss about chudu and soup, how could I possibly hope to get any sleep? I'm glad to see you are well, Takakun. Forgive me for taking such measures, but I feared that I wasn't getting warm fast enough and did what I thought was necessary. At least, it was a more enjoyable sleep than you would have had in the cell. I doubt the Sundere tyrant, was it? I doubt she would have given you the same service. Oh, I'm pretty sure she was a devil slut. I'm sure, she whatever. I let's just say that the hospitality was much appreciated. I'm glad to hear that. If you would like to change, there's a screen just over there. I promise I won't look, of course. I guess one of us has to do it. I watched Machiko I watched Machiko close her eyes, hiding her face in her hand, as if to reassure me that she wouldn't peek. Taking my chances, I climbed out from under the blanket and made my way towards the wooden screen. There's literally no gameplay in this. It's legit it's better than Narcissu, I think. Better pictures, at least. And more boobs. Once I reached it, I quickly began changing. If you could be so kind to do me a favor, Takakun, my robe, my robe should be upon the dresser behind you. Could you pass them to me, please? It would speed matters up greatly. Uh, sure, give me a second. After looking around for a moment, I found the robes neatly folded up on the dresser. My heart skipping a beat as I took a hold of them before turning towards the screen to hand them over. Say, Machiko-san, how come you two walk around stealing other people's underwear? I mean, you don't look like bad people to me. Well, it is complicated. Maeka was researching a spell she had wanted to perform, one that would allow us easier access to certain things we need, and one of the ingredients was a maiden silk. The only silk I could think of was, well, you already know the answer. My maiden silk... By made in silk, you mean? I guess I understand why you would think that, but isn't made in silk another term for a wedding sash? It is in my world, at least. As I said this, the girl appeared from the other side of the screen. I, I never realized. What? What's that, Onisama? A made in silk, it's a wedding sash. All our work was for naught. Oh, well, at least a wedding sash will be easier to get. I'll just have to marry Takakun. Ha ha ha. What? A few minutes later. I don't... Why do they have the ellipses all the time? Um... What a shit... Sh uh, obviously a different person did this from the other draw... Whatever. Seriously, they couldn't just draw in that brick stove in the background? That's clearly like a 3D model with shitty textures on it. Okay, anyway. After that little incident, we relocated to the kitchen. The smell of food filled the air. Despite the younger girl's easygoing attitude, always humming some cheerful melody, I found my cheeks still burning from embarrassment. <clears throat> to think that a girl would say such a thing, I quickly shook my head to clear the thoughts from my mind and turned towards the elder sister. The, the soup is delicious. Is my echo chan usually the one doing the cooking around here? Yay! I'm glad you like it, Takahiro. I don't usually cook, so I made a few lucky guesses. It is rather delicious, Maeko chan. Perhaps you could do more cooking from now on. It would allow me more time to lounge around. Ha 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 ha. Well, the first step to getting your wedding sash is to be a good housewife. And that includes cooking. Why don't they just go buy one, you fucking idiot? I added this with a bit of amusement following the M Machiko's comment. I took another sip of the soup. For a few lucky guesses, this dish had turned out pretty well. Hmm, that's true! I'll learn how to clean and I'll cook for you and, uh, I don't know what else, but it'll be fun learning! Maeko, you should stop that. You know very well that it would be pointless for you to marry him. Only the villagers know how to craft a wedding sash, and we both know that will not happen. Huh! That's not necessarily true, my Chiko-san. It only... 
<clears throat> it only becomes ever more evident that you are not of this world, Takakun. The villagers do not tolerate our existence. They despise us. We could never ask such a favor of them. Well, we have to do what we have... Okay, all we have to do is find some way to make the villagers accept you. But I guess I'll need to learn more about the village itself before we can do that. The pair... The pale-haired woman shook her head slowly, her ears flattening against her head as she did. It is not that simple. They would never trust us. Humans and fox spirits have never been able to get along. I'm honestly surprised that you've been able to tolerate us this long. <clears throat> I would be happy to be proven wrong, and you are free to stay here as long as you wish until, of course, you too, you too grow wary of our ways and decide to leave. Onisama, please don't say things like that. Takahiro-kun wouldn't do that. Would you, Takahiro? Of course not. I wouldn't abandon someone just because they were different species. That's not the Gashik and Takahiro way of doing thi does things. He has a stupid name. However, I do remember the village elder telling me that this wasn't just the fox spirits. It sounded like humans and spirits everywhere have been on bad terms for a long time. Do you know why, Machiko-san? I do not recall. Much information is withheld, even from someone such as myself. Most spirits keep to themselves these days. These are a few... There are a few... Ugh. Let me drink some water real fast. Ah. Yeah. There are a few exceptions, Saruri being one of them. Powerful spirits come and go as they please, but they tend to remain in their world. Fox spirits, however, they have no place to go. We are stuck in the human world, for better or for worse. Huh? I didn't realize it was like that. I guess I'm finally learning stuff. Well, the Saruri character lives in the shrine, right? We should try asking her for some ideas. Ah, no. We do not need to go see her. Absolutely not. No, I don't want to see her. I don't want to. I was somewhat taken aback by Machika's suddenly childish way of speaking. It reminded me of the times I had been told to go visit the doctor when I was younger, complaining and throwing tantrums all along the way. But isn't, the, isn't she the only one that can help us? I refuse to go. Saruri is a fiend, and I dislike the idea of spending even a second in her presence. She can't be that bad, can she? Besides, if anything happens, I'll protect you. F -f 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 fine. <laughs> Excuse me. If it really means that much to you, I will attempt to lead you to the shrine again. But you, you will enter the. Ugh. Ugh, sorry. But you will enter the grounds alone. I, I don't want to go anywhere near that place. You will be on your own, Takakun. Can I come, Onisama? Absolutely not. I forbid it. You are not allowed to follow us under. You are not to follow us under any circumstances, Maeko. Fine. I'll stay here, just like you said. I'll be here in the mansion. All alone, unprotected, by myself. Who knows what might happen to me? I could get trapped under a bookcase and die. Or slip on a banana peel and die. Or get bored and die of boredom. I'd be so super bored, sitting here all alone in the same place, day in and day out. Fine, fine, I get it. You may come along, but you must be on your best behavior, little one. No running around, and no talking unless spoken to. Okay. Despite Micah's cheerfulness, I couldn't help but wonder what had happened between my Chico and the Saruri to, for her to react so strongly. I decided that maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to spend some time with the two sisters to get to know them a bit better. Well, I do have two weeks until I need to get back to my own world, so there's really no, no, no need to rush. How about we do something else instead? I'm sure Machiko wouldn't mind the threesome. Hmm. Well... The longer I get to stay away from the place, the better. How about bringing Echo chan along to go fetch some desserts for us? There are oranges, apples, and a small vineyard behind the mansion. I could whip up some cream to go with it if you would You could whip up my cream all... Anyway. Sure! That sounds easy enough! Let's get us some delicious fruit, my Echo chan Okay. Alright! As my Echo led towards the garden of the impressive mansion she seemed a little quiet as though she had something on her mind i wanted to ask her about it but something about the way her ears sagged and her tail hung low told me that probably wasn't the best idea i decided i would simply try to cheer her up so 
Which do you prefer, Mayuka chan Apples, grapes, or oranges? We could gather all three, but I bet we can grab a few ourselves first. Um, apples, I guess. I know a fox spirit once. I knew a fox spirit once, a friend of Onisama who loved apples. I can't remember her name, though. I guess my head's a bit hollow. What a dumb bitch. Apples are awesome. Crunchy on the outside and sweet on the inside. And your head isn't hollow. Silly, if that was true, I think I'd still be stuck in that jail cell. Onisama did most of the thinking, though. I just sort of went along with what she said. Well... Someone had to take the lead. Besides, I'm still grateful for your help all the same. How about... I playfully flick my Aika's forehead with a grin. See? If it doesn't sound... Ho it doesn't sound hollow at all. I'm sure there's plenty of clever thoughts in, in that pretty little head of yours. Ow! Meanie? <clears throat> no. Now you know I'm right, at least. Anyway, let's get those apples, shall we? I'll get your apples. Okay, I'll get them. I'll get them. You will grab the basket over there. All right, let's get down to business. Feeling hyped, I went to grab one of the baskets stacked nearby and returned to my Aiko who had started climbing one of the trees. The girl looked accustomed to climbing, but her small hands had me a bit worried. Hanging from the branch with her just her legs, she checked to see if the apples were ripe. My Aiko chan, be careful, you might slip. Ow! The girl had thrown an apple at me, and while my reflexes let me catch it with ease, the force behind it still stung my palm a little. Of course, I did exaggerate a, a bit for the girl. Haha, <laughs> I'll be fine, Takakun. I've been climbing trees all my life. Even the mo shit. Go back. I skipped it. Even the most experienced climbers end up running into trouble if they aren't careful. I smiled weakly at the girl's excited attitude, placing the apple I caught into the basket. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a fox spirit. I won't fall. I'm super careful. Watch, I'll grab the apples near the top. Wait, my Ika Chan, unless you can fly, I don't think you should go over those. Fly? I can't do that, Takakun, silly. Who has ever heard of flying fox spirit? As I expected, the moment my Ika tried to reach for one of the apples near the top of the girl of the tree, the girl ended up losing her footing and tumbled down towards the ground with a loud cry. My Aiko! <clears throat> okay, that's uh, that's our time, guys. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this. Um, I know my voice isn't, because I'm going to probably lose my voice for the, the week after the... Anyway, I'll see you guys next time on The David Show. Hope